numbers are so loud. All right, anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. But yeah, hey, welcome back. Uh, so for today's video, we are going to be doing a product line review. Oh, let me get my notes, hold on. Uh, so today we are gonna be reviewing and going over slash demoing four products. And that was eight to four products from a CBD line called Hemp Base. They reached out to me a little over a month ago, maybe two now to try out uh, a couple products from their line. Let me just show you the products right now. So they sent me two of their milk CBD oils. This one is in this uh, flavor cream soda and this is in cherry amaretto. I have more of the amaretto left over than I have the uh, cream soda. I'm pretty much almost done with this one. It's delicious. We'll get to that in a second. Then their CBD vegan and gluten free gummies. This comes with 30 uh, gummies and there's 25 milligrams of CBD per serving. And then lastly is their lemon up AM disposable vape pen and they have a couple other flavors I saw on their website some are supposed to be more relaxing and have different effects depending on the essential oils that they use in the formula so for those of you who have never tried CBD products before CBD is the chemical compound found in cannabis but it is non psychoactive so it's not the same as THC it's not gonna get you high it's legal now pretty much everywhere and has been proven to have medical benefits so they are able to send these out without it being only strictly to a legalized state like here in Colorado or California or any of the other states on the East Coast that are. But CBD really anybody can buy in America at least from my knowledge. So CBD is one of those things that it really it does a lot of different things. So it's anti-inflammatory, it helps soothe, it's relaxing, calming, it's supposed to help with pain due to its anti-inflammatory properties. So I mean, there's a lot of different things that it does hold on. I'm sure you guys have seen it popping up everywhere on social media, in skincare, food supplements, it's everywhere now. CBD is the hot thing along with adaptogens and a lot of other trends that are currently trending. <laughs> so I being a weed smoker as well, so I use um, marijuana products that contain THC and CBD, THC being the psychoactive compound. I guess I have a little bit of a warped expectation of what CBD is going to do versus someone who is going right off the bat and trying CBD for the first time and having no experience, <coughs> having no past experience with THC. You don't get the same effect. It's not going to necessarily alter your mood anyway. It's going to more so do or benefit you over time. So with the oil in particular, the very first time that I used these, literally nothing happened. Um, I didn't notice a change in my sleep or my mood, but after I got through a little bit more almost a quarter through the bottle is when I started noticing when I was waking up I didn't have as much pain in my neck. My dreams were a little bit weird and that is one of the things that can happen with these types of ingredients and not even uh, marijuana derived ingredients like valerian root can give you weird dreams. Magnesium sometimes can as well. Skullcap extract can give you weird dreams. There's just there's a lot of other things that can so it's not necessarily something you have to be wary about. If you've ever taken a sleepy time herbal tea you might have experienced the same thing. But that did happen with me. I had some weird dreams in the beginning and as I adjusted and started incorporating into my daily routine, I wasn't experiencing that anymore outside of the normal weirdness that my dreams normally are. They're, they're messed up. Um, but yeah, so you get about 30 doses in here as well. There's 250 milligrams of um, CBD infused in the entire uh, bottle and you are supposed to take one full dropper, hold it for 15 to 30 seconds sublingually, which means under your tongue, before swallowing. And you do really wanna make sure that you're doing this because the underside of our tongue is where we have a lot of uh, blood receptors, and a lot of the time for medicines, especially in like film strip form, you'll put under your tongue to dissolve. Orange cream is a favorite. It's honestly delicious. It tastes so good. It's hard to do just one dropper full, um, but there's no harm in doing more than one, honestly. I'll be, in, I'll admit I've done probably three or four before when I really needed to knock out. And me saying that doesn't mean it's going to make you groggy and just zonk out. You will not in any way be incapacitated. It's just going to kind of calm you, get you a little bit less fast-paced brain. That sounds like it's it's sedating. It's not. It's relaxing. Cherry Amaretto, I think they use the same CBD derivative for all of their products, except for maybe the vape pens, which might be a little bit different. 
Um, but the Cherry Amaretto, same effects, uh, doesn't really affect my dreams as much anymore. The only thing is I just don't like cherries, so there's a lot of this left, so I'll probably, I don't know, incorporate it into desserts or something. I don't know. If you are a Cherry Amaretto lover, you should check this out. Second to last, but certainly not least, are the vegan gluten-free gummies. These are really enjoyed. So being a Colorado resident, I have the ability and honestly the luxury and privilege to go into a dispensary and pick out different types of gummies, whether they be THC or CBD based or a hybrid of both. So this was an area that I'm pretty versed and familiar with and these honestly blew my mind. Considering the fact that they do not have any gelatin in them, they are very, very akin to Sour Patch Kids in texture. They they really, you would not know that these are vegan, nor would you know that they're not from a candy company. They taste so good, they're delicious, and I think the delivery system of having it in a gummy and having it dissolve over time makes these a little bit more suitable for the day. I like having one of these like right when I wake up just to calm me down, get me ready for my day, and get me in a better mood. Whereas the drops are very concentrated, they're sublingual, it, absor like, it absorbs into your bloodstream very quickly. So with those, you wouldn't necessarily want to take them in the morning. I really like them, the flavors are great. So these are the flavors. It's a green, an orange, a dark red, and there was a pink, but I think I ate all of those. And the flavors are raspberry, strawberry, mango, and lemon lime. So I've eaten all the raspberry. Last, but certainly not, like, I think I said I I think I said that about the last thing, whatever. It is the hemp base CBD Lemon Up Disposable Vape Pen. So I had a really glowing review for all of the other products. Um, this is kind of where it goes a little bit downhill for me, is more so an ethical reason, not necessarily the efficacy of the product. It works well. Vaping delivers those chemicals to your brain very quickly into your bloodstream. So it is a really effective way to just get your little pick-me-up, uh, and I love that this is a lemon scent and they designated it for morning use. I've been using it at night and it's fine, it's not like it's gonna have caffeine in it or nicotine that's gonna make you like more hyper and not able to sleep, so you totally can use this at the night in the nighttime if you prefer. But the one thing I have an issue with is the packaging and the fact that this is disposable. I would really appreciate a rechargeable battery and then cartridges that can be repurchased or even liquid that can refill those cartridges so it's a little bit less single use. The packaging is really cute. I would, I honestly totally would have been fine having it in a just standard car uh, cardboard unicart and without having the foam padding. I do get it. It is a really nice element. It's very Apple-esque. For being a CBD and natural-based company that is vegan, I really would have appreciated to see more eco-conscious packaging. The packaging it came in was quite eco-conscious. Like there wasn't styrofoam peanuts or anything like that, but this particular thing I just wish came in better packaging and that these weren't single-use and disposable once you're done with them. Because these are mixed material, they have this kind of pseudo plastic paper uh, wrapping around the component and from the vape pens I've owned um, from my other cartridges, there is a heating element, there is a different type of pipe that runs through the entire length of the device for air intake, and then there's another type of plastic for this, another type of plastic for the LED, so you can't recycle these, they just go to landfill and that's it. But basically you just pull on it for a few seconds, the little light will uh, illuminate, I got a couple. Um, it's much easier to do that with a hookah and not <laughs> these, but anyway. So let me just go over pricing really quick before I wrap up this video and give my final thought. For the vape pens, uh, the Lemon Up was actually on sale from $25 to $18. It seemed to be the only one that was on sale. The other ones remained at a $25 price point. The orange and the amaretto cream uh, CBD oils were $15, but again, as I mentioned, the amaretto is sold out currently but the orange cream is on sale for 13 and then the vegan gluten-free gummies, which are a 30 count uh, bottle, are $35 currently on sale for 30 I unfortunately don't have an affiliate or discount code for you guys, this is not a sponsored video, they just asked me to try these products out, so I'm giving my honest review and again that's why I was a little bit negative about the packaging and what not. I think the price point is great, I really like the brand message, I think CBD needs to be more widely explored by a lot of people, it does 
help a lot of issues that you might otherwise have just been prescribed something for, whereas this is a better and not addictive alternative. But so yeah, for my final thoughts, I love CBD. I think it's a great ingredient. You guys should definitely try it out if you have not. I love the line. I think it's really effective. They do a high quality source CBD. You don't have that really very distinct plant taste after eating or using any of the product, especially the vape pen. Vape CBDs have a very they're not as pleasant to inhale as a just normal THC pen, so I appreciate that they were able to formulate it in such a way that makes it a more pleasant experience for the customer. My only downfall, again, is the packaging, and then I didn't personally necessarily see... There was a lot of adjectives. I didn't necessarily see a huge difference in my mood for myself, so a lot of the time people will use CBD for depression or anxiety, and it didn't really help me without it. It was more of a sleep aid for my um, usage, and... That's actually okay, so maybe that's not a negative, but yeah. All right guys, that concludes this video. If you are interested in hemp base, please check them out. I'll link them down below in the description bar. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell and give a like. And that's about it. I'm gonna film another video in a second because I'm off today and I wanna film two videos in a day. So I will be having the same makeup on in the next video. I might add a little bit extra, but that's about it. See y'all in my next one. Until then, bye. -ya.